form affinity. Where the dying takes form. Hey guys, so Blender 2.80 full version is finally here. Um, so in this tutorial we will show you how to install the config, uh, the Maya config, for full version of Blender. Um, you can grab it at blender.org under the download Blender section. Uh, and this tutorial will be for Windows 10. Um, and then be sure to grab under the Gumroad section um, you're going to want the latest version, which is 3, uh, 3.2, v3 underscore 2, right there. Uh, and you can just download that to your desktop. Okay, so once you have uh, those two things, go ahead and install uh, Blender as you normally would to your program files. And it should create... Uh, under program files a blender foundation folder so we're going to go into there and then blender and then as you can see this looks pretty similar to what uh, it looked like with the blender builds uh, if you followed the installation video uh, from back then um, pretty much the same sort of uh, file paths so we're going to go into 2.80 and then scripts and then startup. Okay, so that looks like that. We'll go to the Maya config version three underscore two, open that up. And then when it, we wanna grab all of the, uh, the Python files. So all those guys, and I'm just gonna control C, control V to copy and paste. I'm going to just check that to do this for all current items. Continue. All right, so those are in there. Now I'm going to go back up out of uh, the script. So we want to grab the config folder. And just copy and paste that into there. Hit continue. So that's got your startup and your user pref. Okay, so now we go back to uh, the Blender uh, main area. And then here's your uh, application. So rather than going over to the, um, you know, to the left to the start, we're, we're just going to open up Blender from here. And we're going to right click on it and run as administrator. Go ahead and click yes for that. All right, um, let me move this over so that we can see it. Okay, so as you can see, everything looks uh, the way it should. Um, Maya-centric, uh, the config is working as far as the layout goes. Um, so we'll just go to prefs and then, um, I've already got it installed, but we want to install the FA hotkeys. That's those guys. So I'll show you how to do that. Let me just minus that one. So you'll, yours will look like this. I'll hit import. And now we are going to navigate up till we get to program files and go into there. Blender foundation, Blender 2.80, scripts, startup, and then FA hotkeys, import. And as you can see, because I ran it as administrator, that error, uh, the Erno 13 that you might have seen um, is no longer there. And we've got our FA hotkeys working here. And I can, uh, you know, single click an object, um, my widgets work, uh, alt, everything seems to be working, my right mouse, etc. cetera, um, marking menu. So the other thing we want to do is install the theme. So that's under uh, 
under our config folder that's under theme. So those two guys. So to find that, you go into 2.80, scripts, presets, and then interface theme. So just uh, copy and paste those into that folder. Hit continue. Okay, and now we'll go back out, back into Blender. And under prefs, you'll find uh, themes right there. And you may have to install from, you know, from file. So just navigate to the program files again. under presets, and then interface theme. And then I usually use the gray one. Um, the blue one is also there. So just install theme. So you can see that one looks like that. Um, the blue one looks like that. So some options there. Okay, and then a, a couple other things that are in the config are um, the logo badge. These are kind of cool. Uh, there's a PNG in there. Um, if you want to help support uh, by advertising the config, you can attach these to your renders. Uh, there's a black and white version, um, two color versions. And then also uh, my alt is in there. This is an auto hotkey script. Um, and it allows you to uh, basically do hands-free or at least several fingers less free uh, uh, toggling and panning in the viewport. So I'm just going to um, activate it to show you here. So it pops open the, um, the auto hotkey script, my alt. And now I can just tap alt and release once and I'm in a uh, tumble mode and then if I hit shift uh, tap and release once I'm in pan so this is really good for uh, modeling heavy heavily modeling uh, sessions because you know you might be looking around your model a lot um, and you don't have to hold down alt and left mouse button as you normally would to uh, look around and then same thing with pan so that's pretty cool. Uh, you can get uh, auto hotkey at the autohotkey.com website. You can just download um, current version. So install, and then that script, which is there within the the config, will will work for you. And there's some uh, README in there as well. Lastly, guys, uh, in the config folder, there's a, an updates a text file. So you can see which version of this config uh, it is and uh, what's the latest uh, additions that have been made to the config. So with this latest addition, you can see I did a, a 3D viewport tools functionality upgrade. Um, and then also the 3D cursor show hide button in hockey. So for example, that show hide is this. So that's the newest addition to the config. So yeah, that's there. Uh, be sure whenever you get a, a new version to check that out uh, if you wanna see what the additions are. So yeah, this is uh, the full version uh, working with the uh, Maya config for Blender 2.80. Uh, hope that helps. Thanks, guys.